As a software engineer, I really wish I went to a coding bootcamp. And up to this day, I get asked all the time, what are some best ways to learn how to code? And today we are going to dive into coding bootcamps. And now they're even success-based where you only have to pay once you get a job. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Luba and I'm a former product manager and a software engineer in Silicon Valley. And on this channel, we talk about entrepreneurship, tech, a variety of my crazy projects and my journey to a balanced and productive life. What I love about boot camps the most is that they're extremely hands-on. Whatever you learn in the classroom, you get to apply right away. And that is the best way to learn how to code. Boot camps are all over the world. Right now, most of them are remote and their program length varies between 12 weeks up to a year. Today, however, I do want to talk about a specific bootcamp, Lambda School. A couple of years ago, a couple of my friends went through their program and I was very impressed with how supportive they were, how much focus they had on fundamentals. So then when Lambda reached out to me for a potential sponsorship, I got really excited. In this video, you're going to learn whom the Lambda School program is good for, how long the program is, what are the different tracks you can take, what kind of curriculum do they offer, how you can prepare yourself for Lambda School, the job support that they offer, the salaries that you might expect, and much, much more. So if you are interested, you should definitely continue watching until the end, as this video is going to be packed with really valuable information. I went ahead and interviewed a few folks that went through Lambda School, a few people that worked at Lambda School, so that you can get a very well-rounded overview of what Lambda School is really about. First and foremost, it's very important to understand and know your why. Is a coding bootcamp really the right route for yourself? A coding bootcamp ranges from 12 weeks to 12 months. In Lambda School case, it's six to 12 months. So it's a really big time commitment. So you need to know, is this right for my goals, needs, and is this right for me financially? You will need to commit to this amount of time. So it's very important that you realize that, hey, I actually am able to do this and it aligns with my goals. Yeah, I think someone that has their why defined. So why do you want to learn how to code? Um, and it. It can be could because I want to get a good job, but also are you interested in problem solving? Uh, do you like sitting in front of a computer for 12 hours a day? Um, do you have grit? Like, will you keep trying until the problem's solved and not easily get frustrated and, and give up? Um, are you a self-starter? So there's no one sitting behind you at home, uh, you know, forcing you to write code or making you get up and attend class in the morning. So do you have the determination to do that? I think those are the most successful students. Lambda School has two different educational tracks, the full stack web development and the data science track. The reason for that is job demand and opportunities. If you are someone who loves building stuff, then maybe web development is right for you. But if you're someone who loves to analyze and visualize data and probably likes using in math, then you should probably go with the data science route. If you really like math, so I know the data science includes a lot of like things like linear algebra and things like that. Um, if you enjoy math, maybe data science, it would be the better choice for you. Um, if you want to like build websites and build applications, then web would probably be the better choice for you. But I, I was much more drawn to the visual aspects of, of web development. Um, we had some situations where we were able to work with data scientists um, as web developers and kind of how we would build something that would allow people to interact with the data models that they had built. Um, so I liked that and that kind of gave me enough taste of the data science uh, side of things. Um, but yeah, it was just primarily, I liked the idea of building something for people to interact with as opposed to spending a lot of time like analyzing data specifically. Lambda School is really good at helping guide you which program is right for you. They have a great support system and great counseling that will help you realize what your strengths are, what your potential goals are, what roles you would be thriving in. And that's something that I was very impressed with. You need to understand that going to any coding bootcamp, but especially Lambda, is an intensive time commitment. It's all about what you put in. Even if you go to the fanciest bootcamp out there, it doesn't mean that you're going to be guaranteed success. So you need to know that outside of what you're going to be learning in class, you'll have to spend and dedicate time to it outside of the program. Whatever you put in is whatever you get out. Lambda School has two different time commitments. The part-time program, which is 12 months, and the full-time program, which is six months. We're going to talk about the full-time program. 
program. The full-time program takes about 40 hours a week for the school material. But outside of that, you will probably be spending from 10 to 20 hours a week doing homework, reinvigorating concepts that you've learned, doing exercises on your own. So you need to be clear that this is a full-time intensive commitment. By the time that you uh, graduate from Lambda school, you'll have like 750 to 1,000 hours of like actual hands-on coding under your belt, which is the equivalent of what you would get in a four-year degree. So it's very intensive. The pace is really, really demanding. Coding can be extremely challenging and demanding at times. There were so many times when I was banging my head against the wall thinking that, hey, maybe this is not for me, maybe I'm not smart enough, maybe I should just give up right now. But the reality is that perseverance is key and having a support system to persevere is very important. And that's something that I think Lambda does really, really well. What I love about it and what stood out to me is the fact that they're mastery based, which means that you pretty much cannot move on to the next unit it until you truly understood and absorbed the material that you're learning and you can even repeat a unit um, if you you know if you're struggling and you didn't feel like you understood it the first time and they really have that support system to kind of hand hold you through mastering the skills that you're learning and in coding that's really key we're not just teaching like here's how to code in javascript or here's react um, or node.js or whatever the the case may be there's this kind of holistic like learning to learn like how do you get a foundation where you're comfortable enough with programming in general that you can kind of move around the different things that that a software engineering department may need or that a, a tech startup or something may need. Some coding boot camps, Hack Reactor and App Academy come to mind, are very selective and require you to do a lot of pre-course work to even apply to get in. Lambda School is a little different. You don't have to do much pre-course work to apply and get in because their goal is to democratize access to education, which I truly believe in. Um, education shouldn't be that exclusive and inaccessible for the majority, so I think that here Lambda School has a really great mission. What they do instead is helping you understand what your work as a developer and what your education at Lambda School will look like so that you do make that mindful decision before you go in. Another cool thing is that you can actually take unit one of the program and then drop out if you feel like it's not right for you. So that's another way for how you can kind of test out the waters before committing. Lambda School is completely free of charge to enroll in and you can use my link www.lambdaschool.com slash Luba if you feel like you want to enroll now and test out the waters. The next thing that I want to talk about is the cost of the program. What's cool about Lambda is they were kind of pioneers in the ISA program, which means income sharing agreement, which means that you do not have to pay to the bootcamp until you get a job that has a specific amount of annual salary. This means that they're not successful until you're successful, which kind of aligns incentives really evenly. You have to get a job of a minimum $50,000 a year for the ISA to kick in. And so the ISA allows you to go to school, focus on your education, focus on getting a good job, and then worrying about paying back the money later. Um, it's also not, there's no interest on it, like there's interest on a student loan. So it's a little bit lower risk. Um, you're only paying it back if you're, if you have a return on your investment, which is your job. Something to keep in mind is that the ISA is only available to the US residents. So if you are international or if you're in Canada, uh, you can still attend Lambda School, but you have to pay tuition upfront. So this is a perk for US citizens. Let's hear whom Lambda School is good for. The average profile of a student and especially a successful student is definitely someone who's very proactive. Um, generally has like already a familiarity with computers, very career focused. I would say a self-motivated person, um, somebody who doesn't wait for somebody to, you know, tell them everything. I mean, of course, at Lambda School, they do hold your hand, but there has to be a level of taking control of your own life too. I would say a very self-motivated, driven person. No matter what boot camp you go to or school you go to, you still have to 
do 99% of the work. Another way Lambda is able to democratize access to education is because they were designed remote first. I know that the majority of the programs are remote right now anyway, but it's really cool that they took that from the ground up. So as a result, the experience is much better. Yeah, it's completely digital and we have been pre-COVID. So I think that's something that's really important to know about Lambda School is a lot of people are attracted to tech because maybe they want to work from home or work remotely. Um, we were built from the ground up to enable students to have that skill set. So it's not something that we've reacted to. We've been fully remote for four years. So um, we're remote, immersive, and live. So you get to connect with peers across the world when you come to Lambda School. You get to connect with professors across the world. And you still get that like sense of community and like team learning environment um, while being, you know, at the, in the comfort of your own home. There is another thing that's very different about Lambda School. It's the length of the program. It's much longer than your traditional 12-week bootcamp, and there is actually a good reason for that, which is the fact that they teach you fundamentals of computer science, which I am a huge supporter of, because I feel like when you learn fundamentals, you truly are able to move around the fields, you truly are able to understand the foundation and then learn anything on top of it, as opposed to just knowing the skills of a specific tech stack and a specific uh, technology. And this is something that I sometimes wish that I did more of. I wish that I took more computer science classes. I wish that I read more books because sometimes I feel like there are some gaps in my understanding and that's something that's really cool about Lambda and you'll have the opportunity to learn that. Learning to code, learning how to analyze data can be a completely life-changing opportunity and some of the stories from Lambda School graduates that I've heard were completely mind-blowing. We were living in an RV in 2018. Um, and really struggling to make ends meet. I was running up credit cards for, you know, basic toiletries. Uh, and we were always in a position where any little thing, any little emergency could potentially just send us into, into a disaster. Um, we live in a really hot climate. So it was like the weather was an issue and we used to worry a lot about, um, you know, like what happens if the air conditioning breaks? Are we gonna be able to afford to fix it? As a, as a comparison, um, my water heater, I, I bought a house last year, so there's that. Um, I was able to afford a mortgage just a year after being hired, a um, little less than a year actually after being hired. Um, and we had an emergency with our water heater, several thousand dollars, and I was able to just fix it without really any concern, um, which is just a mind blowing turnaround that, that today I'm still kind of wow, that, that didn't like destroy my finances. Another cool thing about the program is that the career track actually starts in parallel with the educational track right off the get-go, which means that they help you refine what opportunity you want to get, what is your story, what is your resume that represents that story. They'll help you apply to jobs that you, you know, eventually want to get. And I even heard stories about graduates getting a job, I guess they're not graduates actually, getting a job before they even graduated Lambda School. I, I did not graduate from Lambda School. I, I started looking for jobs while in the program and Aww. because I got hired, I just withdrew because I couldn't do both. So that I actually ended up getting hired prior to that. Something that I know you guys are always curious about is numbers, salaries. So how much do actual graduates earn? On average, people earn about $60,000 a year, but as I said, it's an average. So it ranges depending on the opportunity you want to get. There are totally people who have gotten the jobs at the thing, you know, the Googles, Facebooks, Netflix of the world. So those salaries would be much higher over 100K right off the get go. So it totally depends on your own goals and needs. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do want to enroll into Lambda, follow my link, lambdaschool.com slash Luba. It's completely free of charge to enroll. And I do really think this is a great opportunity to learn how to code or to learn data science. I do think Lambda is a really awesome program. I am going to be looking over some of the units myself and I have some friends in the program right now. And it's been very impressive to see how much support they've been getting. Um, hopefully you found this valuable. Please make sure to give this video a like if you did. If you're new here, welcome consider subscribing to this channel. I'm curious to hear your thoughts as always. Comment on the video down below and I hope you have a wonderful day. Stay motivated, stay productive, keep learning and bye for now.